Uh, the, the basement damage is extensive. We have about six and a half, seven feet of water in there. So we did everything was down there. Yeah. Furnace, uh, you know, all the washer dryer, yeah, wash all my um, and yeah, you know, all that stuff. Electrical is all down. There. Yeah, yes. I woke up yesterday morning and went over and. It, it's funny, It's um, we actually, this house right here was not impacted very much by Irene. We had, you know, maybe an inch or two of water in the basement. Um, and our sump pumps were able to take care of it. Um, I remember the, the rescue boats were coming up to right about where you're standing here, um, dropping people off. This just kind of happened to make it up just a little bit farther, so it just totally inundated. How is, how you doing? Good, how are you? Santa Bernie's here. How you doing? How is your insurance situation? Um, we're, we're hoping it works out for us. We, we've got a plan in place. Oh, if you're having any problems, give our office a call. We will do that. Thank you very we much. like reading up on insurance companies. Absolutely. Thank you. We Thank like you very reading much. up on insurance companies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you I've, guys All right, for coming down. Nice to see you. Thank have you. Day, guys. Oh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Have a good day, sir. Have a good day, sir. Have a good day, sir. than we could have ever imagined. It's just not water, it's mud. It's yeah, a lot of it's, How long do you think it's gonna take? I mean, Bernie, so like down here on the very end, I only two on the right, and we've got water that's come up this high. The basement's flooded, so the utilities are smoked, right? So I got David Safford, who's my heating guy, and you know, the, the oil tanks are filled up with water. We've got all sorts of stuff that's, that's a problem. The heating that's done, we have yeah. to replace the heating. We gotta cut all the sheetrock out. We gotta pull the floors out because it's right. We got insulation in the wall. It's gonna be black mold, so it's gonna be it's gonna realistically be months. I would like to say if it was one building, I could have it probably fixed in four or five weeks if we had the equipment to do it. But I mean, it's. Flood insurance on all of them. I've called my insurance company, when it comes insurance, as soon as we go through it, I've been in contact with them, I've been in contact with my mortgagers, and um, it's, I'm just waiting for a justice to call us back and get their boots on the ground. And, and, and understandably, and I totally understand that there's tens of thousands yeah. of people in my shoes, so we're going to be patient, but time is of the essence, right? We don't necessarily know what to do. I've actually hired the skids here to start moving mud so we can actually get some servicemen in here. We gotta clean these units up. We gotta get our tenants back in. And you gotta prevent the mold. We gotta make sure that it's a safe environment for them, right? So, so where are our workers, right? We're so short-handed on workers in the state of Vermont. You're making a good point. You need help right away. If you've got a lot of expenses that you gotta deal with. Huh? Well, and I, yeah, and we have to organize all that. So we gotta work that out with our insurance adjuster, make sure that we Which is your insurance it. company? Oh, you know? Uh, I don't have my phone on me. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just want to make sure. Oh, definitely. Don't wait. Don't wait for the These guys have opened up this road in the last 24 hours. Like, you can't believe. They're working around the clock. Huh? They're working around the clock. You guys really got to give your hands together and, and just say thank you. I was on the ground here yesterday morning at 6.30. The mayor of the town was on his bicycle, on his mountain bike, and he called me out because oh, yeah. we met the other day when yes. I, I met you at the labor hall. Exactly, right? yes. And, he yeah. got, and I didn't recognize him. He right. was on a bicycle. <laughs> he goes, Tim Jarvis, and I'm like, oh, wow, well, yeah. How you doing? So it was really great to see that everybody's involved, and, and honestly, you know, these, these visits are great, but it, it's a lot of elbow grease. It's a lot yes. of work. We need a place to put stuff, right? So they're they're hauling the mud. That's what away. I was gonna ask. Where's the mud? Where's the mud going? You see the woman right there, that that woman, the woman right there. That's the director. Oh, okay. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you, Bernie. Nice to see you, Becca. Nice to see you. <laughs>
Good to see you. And I'm Peter. Yeah. Oh, Peter! Congratulations! <laughs> well, I, the sunglasses are still off. Congratulations so, on your new role. Keep it down low, you know. <laughs> and this is right. I'm Lori Ehrlich. I'm the regional, regional. administrator right. in Jarvis. New England. Nice to meet you, Tim. I'm Pleasure sorry. To meet you. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. 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 Reach, right. reach out to the regional okay. office if you need yeah. me. Whoa. You open up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Right. How are you doing? This is the administrator. Jarvis. I'm Lori here in Barry City. Administrator Chris Well. Fifteen hundred billion got nine that and back there. Okay. Are they all down in this area? Yes. Yep. So, and he's um, gonna run up a big So excuse me, yeah. So after my higher hand, I'm trying to get out of this great That's my daughter. Yeah. I'll be fine. Oh, good. Maybe now we can actually get in touch with them. Yep. All my tools are down there. And she makes jewelry. And, uh, so we pulled the car back in hopes that I could drive across the lawn to get out. Within a good 10 minutes, it was already up on uh, covering the second step. When did it happen for you? I don't. Uh, I don't even know what day it is today, sir. Wednesday. So Monday. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, I asked a gentleman about what today was on that day and was Monday. Uh, we were trying to pull stuff up from the basement, tools up from the basement, and we didn't think it was going to get to the first floor because they were saying it was about as bad as Irene. Irene only got the basement, so we were hoping everything was going to be safe on the first floor. But we were wrong. Do you own the house or do you... No, I rent. So where are you still in the house? Yes. Things are working. I mean, uh, at the moment they want to shut off the power, but things are working at the moment. Um, don't dare to try and use the stove, but that's because half of it went underwater. Well, not half of it, but Electric stove. yeah. So, but I have a microwave. I have an air fryer, so those were up on counters and tables, so they didn't get wet. Is that what Barbie doing? Sorry, sorry, that's just me being me. <laughs> sorry. I think I was. Well, hopefully, you know, we'll get help to get yeah. things back. <laughs> I have to get everything up off the first floor so that the landlord can come in and do the cleaning that has to be done. And that's what we're here doing, trying to get everything up and on the second floor. Want to lift the lathe? <laughs> I have before. <laughs> uh, See if we're turning downstairs? Yeah. Yeah, I lost scroll saw, table saw, all my wood over <clears throat> uh, at least $4,000 worth of wooden tools gone. And I don't have renter's insurance. So. Uh, Want to use something adorable? My niece called this car baby car. Yeah. Actually named it. Yeah, baby car is gone. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't have the insurance to replace that either. So I'm screwed. Well, I would appreciate it. Um, uh, we're also having problems getting in touch with government, um, uh, like the food stamp office and stuff. Actually, my phone I can't call out right now. Just call 
Okay. Well, every time I try dialing something, it fails on my phone, so I'll have to wait till I get somewhere away from here, I guess. Uh, the calls won't go through at all. Not here. I can only do text. Just since the... Oh, it since today. Yesterday, yeah, I was make, being I was able to make phone calls, but today, since I got out here today, it's been everything's just been failing. So. Uh, my friend can make phone calls, but she lives. Uh, Compare contrast. Your view from above and boots on the ground. Well, you know, it's interesting to be able to fly over an area like this in the air and kind of get a, a, an idea of how widespread it is. But it doesn't replace being on the ground. Standing right here, you know, talking to the families that have been impacted. This is why I came, right? This is why I came to be able to assess firsthand, see firsthand. What the impacts are, so we know what kind of resources we need to help bring in to help support and start this recovery process. Were you with FEMA during Irene? Um, I actually was with FEMA during Irene, but I was uh, up in North Dakota as they were experiencing their own okay. flooding events uh, I was during in that South time. South Dakota a couple years yeah. ago, so in the Minnesota. So different. Well, yeah. Sorry to jump in, but I'm getting the map on the next location. Sorry. Okay. You get my contact. Can I get a picture of you too? Yeah, yeah. 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 Have a good day. Thanks for looking up now. Yeah, I know. My name is uh, AJ. I'm, I'm on the city council, so if you need anything okay. on the city uh, side, okay. yeah. we're as underwater as everyone else. Absolutely. There's anything we can do. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So hopefully you can help us build back better. Yeah. Well, we're going to Services for them. So. Okay, that's great. Well, Senator Sanders, thanks for being here. Uh, not. Yeah. I need to get a hard job. Hey, I need to get a hard job. Oh, look, I need help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get a hard job. One of the areas that I really want to show you how fast the model is, let's say they will. Haley, though. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, give a, give uh, very a, local. So, uh, thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Take care. Uh, it is kind of hot right now. Um, a lot of folks in this community are really hurting. Uh, their basements are flooding. There's a lot of damage. They don't necessarily have the insurance to cover uh, their losses. Uh, so it is, it's really quite tragic. You know, what we're going to do for the federal delegation is bring as much help as we can into the state as quickly as we can. But it's a, it's a hard day for a lot of people. Can you just reiterate your uh, role with the insurance companies as well? Well, one of the concerns that I have is that insurance companies sometimes uh, Tim, uh, Tim make life difficult for people who are uh, asking for help. You know, they paid into the insurance companies for years, and sometimes insurance companies kind of don't pay out what they should. So we're going to be watching that very, very closely. If anybody has any issues with insurance companies, thinks they're not getting what they're entitled to, give us a ring. Thank you so much, Senator. Thank you. Appreciate you. Jason.